Hey, hey, everybody. Big Mike on the mic coming at you. Canyon Velo. Got the morning coffee coming. This is February 13th ride. Oh, man. I like me my coffee and my sugar and my cream, but nothing like a nice dark mocha roast coffee. Good to the last drop. All right. We're pulling into the uh, La Paz um, Park where the uh, regroup is. And I got to admit, I'm meeting the group here like I did last week, but I don't have my wingman, uh, Jorge, with me. I think he's eating some good mama's food in Mexico. Good on you, Jorge. And uh, hey, everybody. Hey, Thomas. What's up, man? What's up, boys? These guys, heavy hitters in the OC. Morning, Mike. Can I start the video now? Crazy Mikey. Oh, <laughs> You're not your usual self this morning. What's up? Didn't you have a dream about Paul? Didn't you have a dream about Paul like you did last yeah. time? Taiwan time. <laughs> All right, we are at the top of La Paz at the regroup you're not hard, for Mike? Canyon Velo. My excuse is I'm videoing. I'm videoing. That's my excuse. Uh, I need to video more. Of that. But hold on, we we have we have one of the the you've been you you've been around for a long time, Paul. Would you say this is the hardest ride in the OC? Uh, I'd you say think this second is harder hardest. Than, Como. Think second harder hardest. Como? Como's the hardest. Yeah. yeah. Como really is harder. For a shorter period of time. If you go harder. long, Como's like... Yes, if you go long, Como's... Como's I agree. Como is <laughs> no Jorge today. No. He's in uh, he's in his homeland, I think. What happened on that crash that he had? I don't know. He I wasn't there. his chain. He pulled a paw. Oh. oh. <laughs> Up the music. Man, now I got to put the camera in. Excuses. Guys, excuse, excuses. Believe in me. That's what you get from the... Alrighty, so on the long stretch on Antonio, two weeks in a row I got Pauly taking his, what I call the doohickey or something last week, his vest off, very pro, and I got Stevie and I think Dan right behind him. Things hadn't really quite heated up here yet, but um, which is a good thing, but uh, you're going to see me get dropped like, like a skunk. There's some foreshadowing for you. You're going to see me get dropped like a skunk. Hey, Bianchi, Jim. If you need a Bianchi, hit up Jim. But anyways, you're going to watch me get dropped here, and you're going to watch me get dropped multiple times. Um, I'm combining two videos here, the Canyon Velo video and the Como Street video, so trying something a bit different here. And really been working on my editing skills and whatnot. So hoping you guys are uh, liking the videos for entertainment value. I can tell you I'm having fun doing it. we got Sean here on his wheel as we're getting dropped. He's got the same fitness I do, which isn't very good, but man, when he is on, that guy is on. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Those were the fast guys. Nah. <laughs> I want to see you with your bike. Bunch of Trump supporters. I gotta get a MAGA jersey. I need a MAGA jersey. I'm gonna get buy two and give one to Thomas. They shouldn't be on the No, I'm gonna charge well, gotta double. I'm gonna charge uh, double, man. They're coming with horns. Right? Oh god, that's gross. But that's funny. Viking horns with some zip ties on the back. Freezing. How come you guys are all dressed warm but me? Um, you, got, you got a vest on? Wait, I took it off for 30 seconds. What's that idea? Jeez. Yeah, it's really fast. Check the weather. Oh, you gotta check is. the weather. It's warmer up front, Mike. Bob's all dressed warm. I know. It's cold. It's cold. <laughs> I, I, I got him coming downhill and I look at him and I go, Man, he's got like I mean, ski, he's got his leg warmers on. I'm like, man. Yeah, so another Canyon Velo. I got Mark here just spinning away on the kind of the final climb as we head back into Mission Vio. And this guy, tough as nails. Um, this is a guy that'll ride 200 miles 
and do races that are more than 200 miles. So tough. <laughs> Here I am passing them again, getting up to Bob. But you know, again, what are friends for on the road? Bike race, bike racing, bike riding, and just just enjoying the 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 experience. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm taking my shoes off. It was it was a rough ride. I'm freezing. My feet are freezing. Look at my fingers. Um, <laughs> they are. Uh, there's no blood in my in my middle finger and my pinky finger. <laughs> my other hand is not so bad, but yeah, when your hands are look like that, yeah, that's uh, that means you're cold. So. Again, not even close to the coldest day. That TMWC ride did a couple of weeks ago was uh, 30 degrees, even under, but way underdressed on this ride. No, uh, <laughs> there's my shoe covers, didn't wear them. Half full winter booties, didn't wear them. Extra warm arm warmers, didn't wear them. Cool Oakley shoe covers, which would have been ideal for today. Didn't wear them. Didn't wear leg warmers. There's my leg warmers. Yeah, so my toes are cold too. Wow, wow, wow. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's bike riding, but. Uh, ah, ah, ah. Yeah, burr. Alrighty then, Big Mike back on the mic. Como Street, which is the day after Canyon Velo. If you watch my shadow here, I'm trying to get my rear camera to work, and I didn't get it to work. I didn't turn my rear camera on, kind of fidgeting with it, trying to figure this front camera, rear camera thing as the Peloton is rapidly approaching. Um, just as cold, but I'm appropriately dressed, and you're going to watch me get dropped multiple times here and basically turn around and go home at the end of the day. But hey, that's bike riding. Ah. So I'm um, editing and watching this here for the first time. And there's my first drop. Look at my watts. Look at my cadence. And then watch my heart rate go up. Uh, so these guys are just flying. And I'm just managing to hang on here, right? Just managing. But at this point, you're pretty much, yeah, you're pretty much dropped, okay. Polly comes by me now what a beast he's gonna get up there to that group this guy I don't know if he eventually makes it up there or not but he's spinning good so I'm like okay I'm gonna stay on his wheel again keep an eye on my watts my heart rate cadence um, I actually came around him a little bit but he's gonna come around me again and look I'm I'm done I'm done here so uh, we got group two now <laughs> coming around me hey till nice job buddy way to go that's a tough climb man <clears throat> that guy's getting fast uh and they're uh yeah they're hammering to get up there there's the guy that i was able to stay with for a little bit dropped another group comes by me another guy comes by me um, with another group in front of me dropped poor guy there on the side of the road i'm speeding this up so you can watch how many times i get dropped without uh listening to me talk through this long process. That's just on half the climb. All right, I figure I can get up to those guys. I think the third group or the fourth group that had dropped me on the downhill, and lo and behold, I do, because as I always say, I'm good on the climbs, the downhill climbs. Um, and I get up to them, and uh, David Dang, that's David Dang, man, he's riding good too. Hey, there's that guy again. Looks like he's hurting, but he manages to stay. Look, I'm getting dropped again. <laughs> Just as simple as that. So, uh, crazy Mikey there on the right-hand side. Um, so I'm uh, I'm dropped, and then I get dropped by another group. I turned my camera off. Got dropped by another group that's got Henry in it and Dan and oh another guy. I can't remember the other guy's name. And I really push, push, push. I you know what? I don't have my watt meter turned on here, but it doesn't really matter. I'm speeding up the speeding things up here just to give you a feel for uh you know sitting on when you're dropped for the fifth time at the google of time <laughs> but i'm just not i'm just not in it um and you know then you start going okay what uh, what's going on and when you have that feeling and you're just not riding well 
honestly, and I, I know better and most athletes um, know better, guys that have been um, athletic um, like this for a long time, just take some time off, right? And it just happens to be I'm going to do some traveling, so I'm going to be able to take some time off. There's Henry, just solid as a mofo, probably one of the most solid riders I know. So I managed to take a turn or two, and um, but I'm pretty much at the end of my rope here. And watch, these guys drop me again <laughs> so i get dropped on the downhill which honestly never really happens to me but by this time the conversation i've had in my mind is i'm done i'm just gonna pedal along here for a while and uh turn around and head home and i don't even know if i want to make videos anymore yeah see ya <laughs> see ya dude sorry don't know who you are i'm sure i know you but i uh yeah so many people out on the road it's all good. All good, man. Come say hi to me. Pat me on the back and say, yep, there's my name. Don't forget it. So at this point, I'm pretty much done. Now some fun stuff happened, so check this out. There's a dead skunk in the road. Watch Dan in front of me. Boom, he runs over it, and I get a giant whiff of skunk. No, you just can't make this stuff up, fellas. Was it the skunk? Did the skunk get you? Uh, did the skunk get you? <laughs> right in front of me and, and hit me right over a the skunk. Rock. Haven't had a flat. Oh, did you see the skunk? Yeah. <laughs> um, Dan ran right over the skunk. <laughs> All right. So this is what you look like when you run over a skunk, or the guy in front of you runs over a skunk. And I swear to God. He squirted whatever skunk. He squirted whatever skunk skank was in there, and I got a good breath of it. It's not. This isn't the reason why I look like I look. I look like this because I am destroyed What's on the frickin' on? bike. Just destroyed. Henry's asking me, "What's going on?" You know. Sometimes you need a break from the bike. Might be one of those times I need need to take a week off, which, hey, hey, which, uh, which I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Oh, I quit multiple times on this ride. <laughs> I think this is the last quit for me. All right, Henry, I, I should be helping you out, but I'm so destroyed that I'm not. 20 minutes later, hardest tire repair ever. I, I gotta say, Henry, that I've been seriously riding bikes for over 20 years, and that's the hardest tire repair ever. <laughs> if, if I would have videoed that, I think it would have gone viral for... This is just a beautiful bike. Look at that. Look at the, the finish on this Vinge. The feel of it's so interesting how this bike feels differently. This is like total bike porn. I'm feeling up your bike, Henry. <laughs> this is just uh, this is just pornographic here at this point. I don't even know what I'm going to call this video. I ran over a scump. Hold it, hold it for a second. Had sex with uh, Henry's bike. Had sex with another man's mistress. <laughs> These are our mistresses, aren't they? Uh. <laughs> Thanks for the help. Anytime. I am. I'm turning around. I'm turning around and going home. Alrighty then. I'm gonna I'm gonna wax poetic here for a bit as I close this video out with some of this gorgeous uh, scenery. So you know when you're not feeling good on the bike, and I mean really not feeling good on the bike, and your power is way down, and you just can't hang like you used to. Take some time off. Um, just rest and, uh, you know, go for a walk, walk on the beach, you know, catch up on uh, whatever little projects you need to catch up on. Taking uh, three to five days off is not going to hurt anybody. In fact, you might even come back um, faster. So, yeah, <laughs> time for me to do that based on the last, I would say, for me, last couple weeks, if not last uh, couple months. Um... Favorite time of year, too. I mean, just look at this beautiful OC Santiago Canyon. 
uh, after the fire greenery that's coming up. So the green in the background here is just uh, absolutely stunning. So hope you appreciate the videos that you do. Um, I can't believe I'm saying this. Please subscribe to my channel. Uh, I've actually been putting a fair amount of work into this. Um, and you've seen a couple, well, a couple, all kinds of different products here, uh, cycling products. Um, I'm going to put a few links in on some of the repair stuff here in the in the uh, in the bottom of this um, when you open up the comment section um, to to Amazon. If you need any, well, if you need any bike bike products, whatever, I'll put a couple links there, and it'll just make it easier for you to to, to get. Um, you know, tire levers, uh, boots, uh, valve extenders, you know, that kind of stuff. Stuff you need, you should be carrying with you. You know, not to mention your CO2 cartridges, spare tires, all that stuff. Yep, so I'm just cruising, cruising home after getting dropped multiple times over the weekend. Um, I didn't run over a skunk, but Dan ran over a skunk. And I know... I got skunk on me. I, I could I could smell skunk on me all the way home. <laughs> There's skunk on me right there. So I got skunked in many in many different ways here this weekend. But life is good. It's beautiful outside. Hardly gets any better than riding your bike. It's a great metaphor for life in general. And uh, yeah, everybody, uh, we'll see you out there.